Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to read to you Matthew chapter 7, verse 18. Listen to this. This is Jesus' words. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Now, we're going to move on to Matthew. These verses are very, they're quite eye-opening because we don't realize how obvious things are to people around us and to God. So sometimes we feel like we can fool ourselves, but God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Listen, this is Matthew chapter 12. 33 to 37, the words of Jesus Christ himself. All right. Either make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt, for the tree is known by his fruit. Now, if you listen, you really understand he's not talking about trees. He's talking about you and me. All right, verse 34. Oh, generation of vipers, how can ye be evil, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. <laughs> But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. And by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Hmm. Yeah, we better watch what we say, everybody. I don't care if we are citizens or leaders in the country or in churches or in government, wherever we are, we have to watch what comes out of our mouths. And the reason I say watch, I don't just mean be careful, don't say this, don't say that. No, watch what comes out of your mouth. And when I say that, I mean almost like, here's an example. Let's say this just flew out of my, my mouth. It's pink. And lime, it's colorful. Well, I tend to have a colorful personality, so I wouldn't be surprised if my words had a lot of color to them. But there are some people whose hearts are full of hatred and daggers come out of their mouths. Some people are easily angered and bombs come out of their mouths. You hear what I'm saying? I'm making an example. So picture this with me. Picture it now. Happy people laugh. And it's not phony. I mean, they will laugh to the point of tears. Happy people laugh. And they laugh freely and, and exuberantly. Inhibited people, bound up people, they might tee hee hee or give you a little smile. But they're not a happy camper. And guess what? They really can't fake it. And I know you see some people on TV and they're sitting there like their eyes are crying. The only thing smiling is the muscle that pulls those lips. That's a sad thing. Very sad case to be in. Some of those people can find no way out of their dilemma. So they grin and bear it. Some people out there are very angry, very angry, very hateful and intolerant. And that's what comes out of their mouths. And you know what? Those that are truly loving, they can't help it. They hug, they kiss, they shake hands, they greet. 
it's just they're polite they hold doors they help you carry things they're thoughtful and considerate out of the abundance of the heart so it's not just words you watch it's actions i know you've heard the expression actions speak louder than words so you can look at someone and say oh i love you i love you i love you And I know you can look at my eyes and see that did not look like love. Mm -hmm. I remember I was watching somebody who had some guests singing on their uh, podium, so to speak. And while the people were singing, the person was looking at them with total contempt. They would look smiling as if they were cracking up laughing. Like, look at this fool. They really think people are impressed by this nonsense. And they were looking at them like this. I mean, I'm telling you, it's so obvious. If people can see it, God sees everything that people can't even see. Okay? So, this is what they were doing. These, these, this lady was singing, la, 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 la. And she was doing her thing. She was all into it. And the person that asked her to sing in the first place was standing off to the side. I mean, it was so obvious. This is what I'm saying. If you operate out of love, you are refreshing to everyone to be around. You are a delightsome flower. You add an aroma to the atmosphere. People can't help but feel good when they're around you. When there is something in you that's very dark, that is very corrupt, that is very narcissistic, self-centered, <laughs> contemptible, uh, as the old folks used to say way back in the day, contrary. Yeah. People pick up on that. And, and the, the, it ruffles their feathers and they get on ill at ease and, and, and they're, 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 they get scared. They get nervous. It's almost like sitting in a room with a live grenade where the pin has been pulled and within the four seconds it hasn't exploded. But it's sitting there and you're not allowed to leave the room. And you're just staring at this grenade wondering, it, it, is it going to explode while I'm in here? Is it going to kill me? Am I going to get hurt? Uh, is it going to go off? Or is it going to stay? Oh, please stay. Please don't explode. Please don't go off. No, not now. And you find the nerves getting crazy. Well, my point in saying that is, when you see what comes out of a person's mouth, when you watch their actions, and that person puts everybody on edge, tempers flare, anger rises, emotions run out of control, and it's infectious, like a virus. It's infectious, it spreads. You can either have a happy crowd or an angry crowd. You can have a happy family or an angry family. You can have a comfortable family or a nervous, uptight family full of fear and intimidation because they don't like the tyrant in you that controls the fear in them. Uh, this can be big scale, large scale, or small scale. My point is what kind of fruit are you bearing because by your fruit men will judge you because they will know who you are by the fruit you bear by the actions you take by the words you say and also by what you don't do think about that 